Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Velasco and the topic I decided to focus on was the milestones in public health case study chapter 11. The case study was about the creation of CDC and there were several events, but I decided to choose CDC's biggest accomplishment, which was the eradication of smallpox. The image on the right demonstrates a single smallpox virus. Step one, background. Smallpox is a serious infectious disease caused by the variola virus, a member of the orthopox virus genus. It spreads from contact with infected persons. It can be contact of skin or materials or body fluids. It can also be like inhalation of the micro droplets shed from the infected person. In the last hundred years, smallpox had killed at least half a billion people and then between 1920 and 1978, there was about 11.6 million smallpox cases. The chart demonstrates the reported number of smallpox infections by world region from 1920 to 1977. Around 1951, there were 546,000 cases in total. However, the number is said to have been higher. Step 2. Current situation, I decided to use a SWOT analysis. So the strength is that in 1966, the smallpox eradication program was launched, which benefited of the smallpox vaccine. Weakness, the vaccine is not for everyone. There are anti-vaxxers who are against the use of vaccines for either religious reasons or they're just against the government opportunity making new vaccines that will help treat diseases which will help build awareness and save lives a threat would be the lack of not supporting the program and by not supporting the program there was more of an increase of cases because of anti-vaxxers who refused to take the vaccine step three prioritize core issues the main issue is that smallpox is dangerous and many people have died and try to make the effort of launching programs. And people were unable to get vaccinated due to allergies and serious reactions to the vaccine or others just refused to take the vaccine. Their main priority was to initiate eradication campaigns. And as you guys can tell, the image demonstrates two young women taking the vaccine. Step four, analyze alternatives. I decided to use a health belief model because it allows me to understand what are the best approaches to eradicating smallpox besides taking the smallpox vaccine. So the first approach would be to take the modified vaccinia virus Ankara, which is known to be a safe third generation smallpox vaccine. My second approach would be consider taking the drug Cidofovir, suggested to also being useful. Another approach would be that those who refuse to take the vaccine should take medication or antibiotics to lessen the symptoms of smallpox. Step five, recommendations. My first recommendation is to wear a mask and avoid contact from people who are infected because this is an airborne disease. My second recommendation is if contaminated, be isolated to prevent transmission. And my third recommendation would be to consider taking the smallpox vaccine right away, which is the best option. And my fourth recommendation is if you refuse to take the vaccine, consider taking medication for the fever and pain. The image on the right is titled Last Victim of Smallpox, which was the last case of smallpox in 1977 in Merca, Somalia. And the last victim was isolated in the Catherine de Barnes Hospital. Step six, action plan. In 1958, it was proposed that the World Health Organization undertake a smallpox programming. By 1966, the smallpox eradication program was launched and smallpox was eliminated in North America, Europe, South America, Asia, and lastly, Africa, thanks to this program. And by the year 1977, the world's last case of smallpox was discovered in Merca, Somalia. And by 1980, the 33rd World Health Assembly declared that smallpox was eradicated. The image symbolizes the 30th anniversary mark of the eradication of smallpox in 2010.
Step 7. Opinion. I learned that smallpox has been one of CDC's greatest accomplishments because they were able to eradicate the disease and it was their support with the smallpox eradication program as to why they succeeded. And I believe that CDC works hard to keep people safe from unknown and known threats and I appreciate them for promoting health. By doing extensive research about smallpox, it's become clear to me that certain diseases can only be treated and not solved. In my opinion, vaccines have benefited our health and have been effective in preventing diseases from spreading. The image demonstrates a young little African girl receiving the smallpox vaccine demonstrating the initiation of the smallpox eradication program. Overall, I just want to say thank you and I really enjoyed speaking about the history of smallpox and the accomplishments of eradicating the disease.